Let me show you guys how to just do some basic text. So, we click this button right here. It says, Ketchup Burger says, Hello, YouTube. So, let's see how we did this. So, we are just using a simple tell raw command. It says, tell raw everyone. So, add a, all players, text, colon, quotation mark, you know, the usual. And then, whatever our message is, and... Also, if you want to put quotations inside of your message, you can't do that. In order to do that, though, you have to put a backslash in front of it, and that tells the JSON text, because we are using JSON to make these messages. You just have to put a backslash in front of it, and that tells the command block, No! Don't use this as JSON code. Use this as just, just put it in the message. Don't actually, you know, close anything or anything like that. Just don't use it for the JSON. So, it'll just show us, you know... The thing that won't show us the black slash or anything. So, colored text. Hello, YouTube, and this is colored, and it's bolded. So, let's see how we did this. So, for colored text, we just did a simple tell raw command. We just said nearest player. We don't have to do at all players, you know, whatever. We did text, you know, we just had a simple message here. You don't have to use quotation. You can also use these apostrophes. I use the apostrophes. And then I didn't want to add anything to the very beginning of it, so I just did comma, extra. I wasn't adding any colors to it. And then, you know, we gotta do our square brackets and then curly brackets and then we close them out and we type whatever we want in the middle. Don't forget those colons too. Gotta have the colons. Then we're gonna do text, colon, whatever your message is, and then in order to color it, you're just gonna do comma color. And if you want to bold or underline or italic, then you would do bold, comma bold or underlined or italic colon true. And then we just did extra, and then text, so that way we could actually change the data and make tube a different color. So then we did our extra text, tube, color, dark red. And then it'll actually leave the bold because, you know, since we said bold here, that's going to carry out to every other extra in the, uh, in the command. Unless we change it to bold equals false. So, okay, now let's look at selectors. So, if we click this, it says ketchup burger eats apples. Now, I didn't go in and say ketchup burger in it. I actually just said selector nearest player. So I did tell raw nearest player and in order to do the selector you're going to start this off with the square bracket so that it knows that you're doing two different types of things. You're going to do a square bracket and then a curly bracket so that way it says okay this is a piece of text this is a selector and this is a regular text. Okay so this is a very simple command. So selector colon, nearest player in apostrophes or quotations or whatever you feel like, comma, color, colon, gray. So that's saying my name is going to be gray. I could even make it dark red. And if I were to make it dark red, it would the whole message would just be that. So, for example, um, if you wanted to uh, say that someone joined the server, you could go blank has joined the game and then you know do like some sort of thing to specify what player it is so now for click events so for click events you can simply see you know it's not that hard of a command but um now if we click this you see it says click this in the chat so if we go into the chat and we say that oh look a secret message appeared quite fancy as you can see so let's go to go back into this and see just how we did this so tell raw nearest player click this color dark red so it's just telling the player okay it's gonna put in chat it's gonna say click this it's just that's all it's gonna say and then it's gonna be dark red and then it's gonna be bold then here's the new fancy part I'm going to say click event, and that's going to be an upper camel case, which basically means that the first word will be lowercase, and then every word after, to, after that will be capitalized. So then I'm going to say colon, curly bracket, action, colon, apostrophe, run command. This is very important. So you can do one of two things. You can either say run command or open URL. And then if we're going to do run command 
then we're just going to type in the command. We're going to do comma after that. We're going to close off the apostrophe. We're going to say comma, and then we're going to say value colon, open apostrophe, or quotation mark, or whatever you feel like you need to do, and then whatever the command is. So, my command was tell raw, nearest player, text colon, secret message, comma, color, colon, gray. So that's just saying it's going to say to the nearest player, secret message, and it's going to be gray. So, super duper simple. And then I can click it in the chat, and then it'll give me a secret message. And I can repeatedly click it, too. It's not like it, it's, it's click once and go away. So, I can click this as many times as I want. So now, while those things disappear, let's get into hover events. So if I do that, I can hover over this, and it says, hover events are cool. And that could not be any more true. Um, so hover events, I just absolutely love them. Okay, like hover events are great. So, I'm going to say, tell Raw nearest player not to join the game, color yellow, so it actually looks like he joined the game. Hover event, this is the new part, hover event in upper camel case, colon, open quotation mark, action. And this time, instead of run command, we're going to do show text, comma, value, just, it's almost the same command, and then colon, except this time, the text is actually going to be in curly brackets. It's going to say, it's going to be just like if you were writing it out, it's like to actually say the text. So it's going to say text, hover events are cool, so that's just saying whatever the hover event is going to say, and then the, the color of it, if it's bold, if it's underlined, and all that stuff. So, as you can see, you can hover it, but what if I want to add an action to it? Let's say I wanted to, per se, say, click this to open a link to my channel or something like that. Well, that's, that's my next point. So, click events and hover events together. So, check out my channel. Here's the link. So, if I click on this, it says click here to go to my channel, and it actually opens the link. So, now, if we go into the command block, we can actually see just how I did this. Now, you can use this on servers and stuff to say, go to this website to donate to, for, donate to the server, or get perks, or something like that. Or just, in an adventure map, if you have a YouTube channel and you created an, an adventure map, and you wanted to say, okay, here's a link to my channel, go check it out to see some behind the scenes stuff on the map creating or something like that or go subscribe to my channel because I put a lot of hard work into that or something just something like that but um so here's how it works so tell raw nearest player text colon check out my channel here's the link now notice I put this backslash here so that way it didn't count this as uh, JSON text in it like you know stop it, it would stop what it says. It would stop here, check out my channel, period, here. And then it wouldn't even register because it'd be like, no, 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 that doesn't work. Because this text, this is invalid. That, that, that's, that's weird. That, that doesn't make any sense to me. And it wouldn't be able to read it and it'd be like an error. But then, you have to put that backslash. So that's all I'm saying. So color, gray, gray, comma, bold, colon, true. It's underlined, true. And then right after that, extra, text, and then backslash in allows you to put uh, the text on the next line down. So basically all that did is it just put it on the next line down so that way it wasn't, you know, crowding up a bunch of space. So, HTTP colon YouTube, and this, this isn't actually going to link to my channel, okay? In order to link to my channel, I have to create a click event, and the action that it's going to run is open URL. So let me just show you how I did that. So color gold, underline false, hover event. We do, we all, we're always supposed to do the hover event first. Hover event, action, show text, value, click here to go to my channel. So that way, whenever I hover over this text, it will go to my channel. Comma, color, yellow, and all that. And make sure you have two of these after that, because when you open the value, it, uh... It's it's like inside of the action. You know, it has it has two things inside of the hover event. It has two curly brackets. So you got to make sure 
that it has two curly brackets after or it won't register it'll say like unbalanced quotations or whatever or it'll be counted as inside the hover event or something weird so comma click event so now now's where it actually links them to my channel so click event colon curly bracket action colon open url comma value um, and this is basically this is where you type in the URL. So this is my channel link. So then that's where I would say click this to open the URL and then I click it and then that creates a click event so that runs the command to actually bring them to my channel. So that's going to be pretty much for this episode. Don't hate, donate. Um, if you would like to donate to this channel because I, you know, just create quality videos and you enjoy watching this channel, then you can by going to my channel homepage and clicking the support this channel button. Helps me out a bunch. And also, thank you guys for 69 subscribers. I have 69 subscribers now and almost 10,000 views. You know, that's absolutely phenomenal. I never thought I'd even get halfway this far, to be honest. I mean, it may not seem like a lot to you guys, because some people have 3 million subscribers. I mean, I always say this, but I'd just like to thank you guys in advance for all the support on this channel. And it's really touching to know that 69 people actually like this channel so far. And um, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, be sure to subscribe for... Uh, t more tutorials like this and gameplay videos and you know just a lot of cool stuff I try to make cool content for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed so I'll see you dudes in the next episode